In this video, we're going to have a look at putting some diagonal bracing on our portals. So let's go across to our floor plan. And then we're going to have a look at oh, structure tab. And we could use a brace. OK, so I'm going to, at this point, load a family. And British standard circular hollow sections. OK, click open and then pick the sizes that you want. All right, I've already loaded that size in. That's the one I'm going to use, but you may decide you want some others. OK, now the start, I'm going to do ground floor and offset that by 300 and then have the end of it at first floor. OK, so let's put that by there to there and jump across to our 3D and we can see that nicely. Let's now go to our south elevation and we can see that by there. What I'm going to do is click on it and just mirror that using the first floor level. Okay, now we want to do some connections. Highlight each of these three elements. We are going to then go to Steel Connection. And the connection that we are going to look for on this one, or the one I'm going to use anyway, is a tube connection with sandwich plates, two diagonals. There we go. So that's put that in there. And we can see that in 3D. OK. And then we can just spin this round a little bit. And we'll do these other connections here. And again, this time I'm going to use a single tube gusset. Um, a single tube. All right, so let's have a little look. The eaves, single purlins, single tube. Brace gusset. There we go. I'll use that one. So I zoom in, have a little look at that. So we can just see that connect in there with welds and so forth. And then we'll use the same one at the bottom down there as well. And we can see we've got our connection there. OK, again, as in previous video, you can click on these. You can edit the type. Um, I would duplicate it and rename it. And then you can modify the parameters and change many of the different sizes and features of this, which I don't need to do for this. But just so you know, that is available by there. OK. What I'm going to do now is highlight some of these. There we go. And go back to the ground floor. And again, I'll use the mirror and I'll just pick that line like so. So then in our 3D view, we can now see we've created a large cross. All right. And what I'm going to do is I will then mirror those once more on this line. But I don't want to mirror it again because this one I'm going to do slightly differently. And this one I'll put it in over there. So we will... Um, mirror those, but we're going to do that differently, yes. So we'll draw a line for this one. And nope, mirror with a line. Can we have a mirror command? 
All right, let's have a little look. Wants to get it halfway between. Okay, and let's just check that out in 3D as well. There we go. So we can now see we've got these bracings and I'll just put a beam across that section by there to give that one some bracing. And what we can do is go over here, structure, beam. Let's go back to our universal beam. Okay. And 305 by 165. And we'll put this on the first floor level. Like so. Look at it in 3D. There we go. And then we can go about connecting that up as well. Okay. Same on this side. All right, so that's all of those on that side. Um, we are now going to copy those across to the other side of the building as well. So at this point, I would like to just say as well, if you um, do enjoy my videos and you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And don't forget that um, if you can also like the videos, that helps as well. So it's all much appreciated. So this can be a little fiddly. Just trying to be careful here to highlight the correct elements. around. Once we get past this bit, it'll be a little bit easier. Get both of those in one go. Oh, let's not forget this one. And then that one, and then finally that one. Okay, so that's all of those highlighted. I'm now going to go back to our floor plan, zoom out a bit, and do a mirror for that lot as well. And again, I want this to be halfway by there. Make sure you get the line straight, copy it across. Give it a few seconds, have a look at it in your 3D view, and we can now see we have some diagonal bracings and extra beams there, um, both sides of our structure. 